Imagine discovering a new world in our solar system, a celestial body so distant and elusive that it takes 25,000 years to complete a single orbit around the sun. This isn't science fiction, it's the reality of 2017 OF201, a newly identified trans-Neptunian object, TNO, that has captivated astronomers around the world. Officially announced on May 21st, 2025, by the International Astronomical Union's Minor Planet Center. This icy wanderer may even qualify as a dwarf planet. But what makes it truly remarkable is not just its size or distance, but the way it reshapes our understanding of the outer solar system and the mysteries that still lie beyond Neptune. In this video, we'll explore what makes 2017 OF 201 so unique how it challenges the Planet Nine hypothesis, and what this discovery could mean for the future of solar system exploration. 2017 of 201 travels on one of the most extreme orbits ever observed. Its closest approach to the Sun, known as perihelion, is about 44.5 astronomical units, AU, similar to Pluto's farthest distance from the Sun. But its aphelion, or farthest point, stretches an astonishing 1,600 astronomical units away. That's more than 50 times the average distance between the Earth and Pluto. With an orbital period of roughly 25,000 years, this object spends the overwhelming majority of its journey in the deep, frozen outskirts of the solar system. Given its location, it's no surprise that detecting this TNO was an immense challenge. The object is visible from Earth only about 1% of the time during its orbit, and yet, astronomers were able to identify it, not with a brand new telescope, but by mining existing observational data from the Canada-France-Hawaii telescope and the dark energy camera. This speaks to the incredible advancements in data analysis and the importance of revisiting what's already been observed with new tools and perspectives. In terms of size, this TNO is estimated to be about 700 kilometers in diameter. That's roughly a third the size of Pluto, placing it well within the range to be considered a dwarf planet. Its spherical shape and probable icy rock composition make it comparable to other distant bodies that the IAU has classified as such. What really intrigues scientists, however, is how such a large object ended up on such an unusual orbit. Some theories suggest gravitational encounters with Neptune or even collisions with other massive bodies early in the solar system's history could have pushed it outward. Others propose it may have formed closer to the Sun and been flung into its current orbit by interactions with the giant planets during their migration phases. Still others consider the possibility that it originated in the inner Oort cloud, an unexplored region populated by ancient, icy relics. Each possibility opens a window into the solar system's chaotic past, offering clues to how its architecture evolved over billions of years. 1 of the most debated ideas in modern planetary science is the existence of Planet 9, a theoretical massive planet orbiting far beyond Neptune. This hypothesis was introduced to explain the oddly clustered orbits of several extreme TNOs, such as Sedna and 2012 VP113. Their orbits appear to be aligned in a way that suggests gravitational influence from an unseen giant, possibly 10 times the mass of Earth. But 2017 OAF 201 doesn't conform to this trend. Its orbital alignment is significantly different from those of the TNOs that support the Planet 9 theory. The longitudes of perihelion, the point in their orbits where they come closest to the Sun, are expected to cluster if a massive planet is shepherding them into formation. Instead, this TNO breaks this pattern entirely. Its orbit appears to be misaligned, scattered rather than grouped with others. This raises a critical question. Could the clustering observed so far simply be the result of observational bias? The misalignment has serious implications. According to simulations, if Planet 9 did exist and had the mass and orbit currently proposed, it would likely have destabilized this TNO's path, 
possibly ejecting it from the solar system over time. That hasn't happened, which casts doubt on the planet's proposed influence or suggests that the actual dynamics are far more complicated than initially assumed. Rather than undermining the search for Planet 9, though, this discovery highlights the need for more data. It's possible that the orbits of TNOs are shaped not by a single massive planet, but by the combined gravitational nudges of many smaller objects, or even by external forces such as stellar flybys or galactic tides. In either case, 2017 OF 201 adds a layer of nuance to a debate that is far from settled. It reminds us that science advances not just when we confirm a theory, but also when we challenge it. And that's exactly what this icy, distant object is doing, forcing astronomers to reevaluate how the outer solar system works and how much we still don't know. This TNO may be just one object, but it represents a vast population of distant worlds waiting to be found. Its discovery suggests that there are likely hundreds, perhaps thousands, of similarly large TNOs with highly elongated orbits that remain undetected. Some could be dwarf planets, others might follow even stranger paths. All of them have the potential to teach us more about the birth and evolution of our solar system. Several objects already hint at this hidden population. Sedna, with its aphelion at nearly 1,000 astronomical units, was one of the first trans-Neptunian objects to reveal a distant, detached orbit. Then came 2012 VP113, nicknamed Biden, another object that helped shape the Planet 9 narrative. Like 2017 OF201, both Sedna and Biden are on highly elongated orbits, suggesting a gravitational past influenced by more than just the eight known planets. Further in, we find Pluto, now a dwarf planet, and other Kuiper Belt residents like Eris, Haumea, and Makemake. These icy worlds, while closer and better studied, are part of the same extended family. Each provides insights into the diverse forms planets and planet-like objects can take. Haumea's rapid rotation, Eris's high density, and Makemake's methane-rich surface all point to different formation histories and conditions just as 2017 OF201 may reveal a different piece of that cosmic puzzle. As we look ahead, the promise of new discoveries is closer than ever. The upcoming Vera C. Rubin Observatory will play a key role in uncovering distant solar system objects. Its Legacy Survey of Space and Time LSST, is expected to dramatically increase the number of known TNOs and improve our understanding of their distribution, sizes, and orbits. And perhaps the most exciting aspect? The tools to discover the next 2017 OF201 aren't reserved for professional astronomers alone. The original data that led to its discovery were publicly available, meaning a student, hobbyist, or independent researcher with the right skills could have found it. This is the new frontier of astronomy, democratized, data-driven, and increasingly collaborative. As we continue to mine public databases, refine our detection techniques, and expand our sky surveys, the outer solar system will slowly come into sharper focus. What we once saw as a barren, frozen void may turn out to be a thriving region filled with dynamic, mysterious objects that challenge our understanding of what it means to be a planet. 2017 OF201 has reminded us that the edges of our solar system are anything but quiet. They are alive with motion, history, and potential, and we've only just begun to listen. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this exploration into the depths of our solar system, please like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating insights into the universe. Until next time, keep looking up.